Disable fields based on item selection. Some fields on screen may not be relevant based on the value of a prior selection on the same page. So to provide a more interactive experience, you can disable or hide fields that aren't required. One way to do this is call some APIs that are available from JavaScript. For example, you may see code, particularly in older versions of Apex, which run the $F disable on value, and then based on various parameters, certain fields will show or hide depending on the value of those fields. All this is still documented in the Apex API reference documentation. There's a chapter on JavaScript APIs. Here they all are. And you may also find some other documentation sites handy, such as the W3 schools for anything HTML or JavaScript. And there's a, a number of sites related to the jQuery API. Back to our task at hand. When we run our application, and we edit a particular product. We could set it up so that, for instance, if the weight class was over a certain value, then one field may be disabled and the other one hidden. So we're going to create a dynamic action to do that. So I'll edit page five and create a new dynamic action. And call it something like hide fields. And it will be on change by a certain item and we'll make it the weight class. And in this case, we'll have a condition. And I want the condition to be a JavaScript expression to say that if the weight class, so the value of the weight class in the browser, is over 3, then the condition is true. So in this case, we can set up a Hide and we want to affect an item. So we can hide the catalog URL and in creating this dynamic action, I now have a hide and a show depending on the true or false nature of our dynamic action. And we can extend this further by adding another true action to disable, for example, the item supplier ID. And we can also add the relevant enable in the false action. Enable of our item Supplier ID. We don't necessarily need to fire this one on page load. So we can see that with the conditions in the actions as well, when they fire and whether they're true or false and what they do. So we'll run this page now and see that if we put in a weight class of 4 and hit tab, our supplier ID is disabled and the catalog URL removes completely. Set it back to lower than 3 and we can edit our supplier ID and maintain the catalog URL. So what we've done is change the field requirements based on user selections within a form before we've submitted the page or executed any validations. Next we'll see how we can refresh entire regions without submitting a page.